Hello my kids. I hope you all are doing good job at home. As you can see today we are going to start our maths class. Let's begin the class. So today we will learn about three digit numbers. Would you like to learn about the place value and the place value of a digit in a number today? Yeah. So let's begin. First let me tell you what we mean by the place value of a digit. Place value is the value of the digit according to its position in the number such as ones, tens, hundreds, etc. Let us understand this with the help of a number. Mm. Let us take the number 275. We write the number 275 in the place value chart as number 2 in the hundreds column and number 7 in the tens column and number 5 in the ones column. Now let us look at the place value of each digit as number 2 is in the hundreds column. It means that there are two hundreds. So its place value is 200 as the number 7 is in the tens column. It means that there are 7 tens. So its place value is 70 as the number 5 is in the ones column. So it means that there are 5 ones. So its place value is 5. Now let's try to solve one more example. Number 906. Let us place each number in its respective column. So number 9 goes in the yes hundreds column and number 0 yes in the tens column and number 6 yes number 6 in the ones column the place value of number 9 is yes 900 because it is at hundreds place now the place value of number 0 is 0 as there are 0 tens now the place value of number 6 is 6 because it is at 1's place. Now let us learn what the face value of a digit is. The face value of each digit in a number is same as the digit itself. Let us look at the number 346 to understand this. Let us place each number in its respective column. So number 3 goes in the hundreds column and number 4 in the tens column and number 6 in the ones column. Very good. So the face value of a digit is the same as the digit itself irrespective of where it comes in the place value chart. So the face value of digit 3 is 3 only. The face value of digit 4 is 4 only. And the face value of digit 6 is, yes, 6. Wonderful. Now, let us solve one more example. Look at the number 805. Let us place each number in its respective 
column. So number eight goes in the hundreds column. Zero goes in the tens column. And number five, now you tell me, yes, in the ones column. So the face value of digit eight is yes eight itself. The face value of zero is zero only, and the face value of five, yes, five only. Excellent. I hope now you have understood how to know the place value and the face value of digit. Wasn't it fun to learn maths? Yes, it is very easy to understand the place value and the face value of a digit. Hope you have learned very well. Thank you my kids.